Hi guys, welcome back to Not For Nothing Homestead. I'm Ginger, thank you for stopping by today. If you're new here, welcome in. We hope you enjoy your visit with us today and you will consider subscribing to our channel. If you're returning, thank you for coming back and visiting with us and seeing what else we're doing. So we're in the kitchen today. We are doing a bread type. <laughs> Jamie over at Jamie's Country Living has a collaboration going on called Hashtag Bread 2023. Now, it's an open collaboration as well as she has some channels that are scheduled to drop videos. So, we are scheduled for Saturday, which is Fishing Day. Okay, Fishing Day coming up pretty soon. <laughs> it will be warm enough to go. Um, but if you would like to share your favorite bread recipe, all you have to do is make a video of you making your favorite bread, hashtag it with breads 2023, and also tag Jamie at Jamie's Country Living. And then she'll add you into the playlist that she has over on her channel for this entire collaboration. So this is going to be fun because I'm making hush puppies. We love hush puppies. Okay, anytime you go to a fish restaurant, fish and chips, gotta have hush puppies with it. So that is your bread-like side to your dish that you're gonna get from us today. So I'm gonna bring you down. We're gonna make it. It's really quick and easy. Actually, first I'll show you this. So the hush puppy mix uh, that I have, this recipe is like super old. It's like out of the Betty Crocker checkerboard uh, cookbook from long ago. But I put on it what's in it and then what I need. And then everything's already pre-mixed in here. So I have everything labeled as to what's in here. I hope you can see that. Here, I'll get out of the picture. Maybe it'll focus on that. Yeah, and then what I need to add and how to cook it. So I can just run, grab a jar of this and then mix it up real quick and throw it in some fried in some peanut oil and voila we have hush puppies that are delicious so now i'll bring you down <laughs> and we'll get started okay. <clears throat> so in this jar is one cup of cornmeal a quarter cup of all-purpose flour two teaspoons of sugar three quarters teaspoon of baking powder one quarter teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter teaspoon of salt but in my directions on here say just to add an egg a half a cup of buttermilk some sliced green onions but i actually have white onions and celery i want to add both of those and then you just mix until just combined you don't want to over mix it if you over mix it you're they're going to come out clumpy and not light and fluffy so all right, we're going to get this out, dump our mix in the bowl, okay, I'm going to make a little well, I'm going to use this spoon, and I'm going to grab my buttermilk real quick. So I gave the dry ingredients like a little stir too because I usually layer it not on purpose it's just easier to do an assembly line and and dump it and go. So I gave it a good mix so everything is well mixed up. I made myself a little well in the middle. I'm gonna put my buttermilk in. Crack my egg in here. Make sure it's a good one. I'm going to go ahead and bust that yolk up too so it's easier to combine with that. Put that in. My onions. And I'm going to put some celery in too. Alright. And then we're going to just toss and be easy and gentle with it just until we see that everything is combined. And it's looking good. Okay, I got a couple 
yellow spots in the middle here that are still powdery. All right, I actually think that's good. I'm gonna use this same spoon to measure out little dollops, but I'm actually gonna let this rest. Kinda like you do cornbread, I'm gonna let it rest for about five minutes and then I'm gonna come back and start dipping it into my hot peanut oil. Hopefully it'll be hot by that time. So we're gonna just take this, I mean it's fluffed up good. Make it like the size of a nice hush puppy and drop that in there. And we're gonna do probably three at a time. We're going to cook it for three minutes in there. Again, just to make sure both sides get really nice and crispy. I have some salmon going in the pot over here, or in the pan over here. This is actually uh, canned salmon that we can. And then I just take it out. It's kind of like... Uh, canned chicken it comes out in like some chunks and then you kind of break it down when I want to do it like this I just leave it in the bigger chunks and then just throw them in a frying pan with some Montreal seasoning and get a little crisp on them and it goes just perfect with the hush puppies the coleslaw and the grits that I have going so we're almost done. When it comes out and cools off, I will bring you back to show you how delicious they look. Oh my goodness, they're looking so good. I always get the first one. Why? Because I'm the cook. That's why. Okay, I opened it up. Look how good it looks inside. Mmm. I love hush puppies. They are so stinking good. Love them, love them, love them. All right, I've pretty much eaten this whole one. <laughs> That's okay, though. The first one's mine, like I said. <clears throat> All right, guys, this is so easy to throw together. Oh, my goodness. So super simple as a side for whatever you want, as your, not side, your bread for whatever meal you're having. Okay, so here is the complete dinner that the adorable yummy hush puppies go with so we have grits with some salmon homemade coleslaw and hush puppies yes that's it so i will put the recipe in the description box below the first section i'll put what i put in the jars and then if you want to make several jars ahead you can and put a label on it like i did and then in the second section right below that, I'll put what you have to add to get it going and then, uh, and then how you fry it. Uh, so it's super easy. All right. Thank you guys for stopping in. Jamie at Jamie's Country Living, thank you so much for inviting us to your bread collab. I appreciate it. I hope you're not disappointed that it's not really a bread loaf of bread. It's hush puppies. A bread like substance <laughs> anyways that's all for us here today at not for nothing homestead uh guys take care god bless and we'll see you in our next video